Now, if talk radio is the place where good ideas go to die, the state treasurer's office is where bad ideas, or at least one bad idea, goes to have life. That's to allow people in our state to buy lottery tickets on their computer or phone. Here's the thinking. The lottery provides a critical lifeline to cities and towns more than a billion dollars a year. That's true. And the state gets that billion dollars when people here lose a billion. That's true, too. And who are they? Mostly people who can't afford it. In the last fiscal year, more than $1,200 was gambled by every resident of one of the poorest cities in the state, Chelsea, and just $80 by every resident of one of the wealthiest, Weston. That contrasts with the lobbyists cited in yesterday's Sean Murphy story in The Globe, whose clients stand to make millions from this lottery gambit. But back to the treasurer's plan. Lottery revenues are declining. Most believe that's because millennials aren't going to lottery sellers to buy tickets. So her thinking goes, if new young players won't come to the lottery, the lottery will go to them. To their house, their office, their bedroom, their couch, their neighborhood bar, wherever they can get online. Sound a little risky to you? Me too. But the problem remains, how to make up lost revenues for the lottery and in turn cities and towns. Well, the legislature might have to do something it doesn't like to do. Fix the problem by voting to raise tax revenue fairly in a way that doesn't disadvantage those who can afford it least. There are plenty of tax breaks which fit that description and could be eliminated, like, say, the governor's effort, now abandoned, to dump the film tax credit, which could generate 60 to $80 million a year. I'm obligated to note here that GBH does benefit from that film tax credit. But these are the options. Provide a mechanism for lower-income young people to gamble more or ask movie makers to do with less. The choice seems pretty clear to me. What do you think? Email us, tweet us, share your thoughts.